6.30 today. Well, it's currently 6.44. Sorry, I was trying to look at my clock behind my uh, phone in my car. And I know today we're going to be going over like hand washing, PPE, super important right now, um, vital signs, patient transfers which I already you know I do a lot as a CNA now so I'm not too worried about today's lab tomorrow we do learn how to do a head-to-toe assessment which I'm really excited about um, there were six chapters that needed to be read before um, today well three today and three tomorrow to be honest I got through like two of them because it was for me it was really repetitive um, and things that I kind of already knew so I'm just gonna wait and see how lab goes today um, to determine on whether or not I need to do some more reading tonight one of my neighbors she's a nurse um, and she went to the same school that I'm going to now eight years ago and you know she was giving me a lot of advice last night and was basically telling me like if I'm having any problems with pharmacology to come to her because she did really well in those classes and she can help me study so I'm super happy about that um, and then I was talking to one of the girls at work yesterday and She's in her second year at another community college, and I was talking to her about pharmacology, and she was asking me about like dosages and all of that, and I told her about the test that I already took, and she's like, oh, well, if you can do that, then you're fine. You don't have to worry about farm. Like, okay. Uh, we'll see. Um, yeah, overall, I'm super excited today. It could also be the coffee that I just drank. I don't ever have caffeine unless I'm stupid tired. Um, I'm not tired. I just know it's going to be a long day. So I was kind of trying to prepare myself for that. Um, yeah, I think that is it for now. I will check back in with you guys um, either at lunch or when I'm on my way home because I do have a paper that's due on Monday that she just posted the um, assignment board for last night you know slightly irritating but welcome to nursing school <laughs> I, said, I told someone and they're like well welcome to nursing school um, it's only one page so it's not gonna take me long and it's just about um, medication errors and you have to like write it about an article and what how the problem could have been um, resolved or how you could have prevented it so I already found the article that I want to write it on and so it should only take me like 30 minutes to write because she was like two paragraphs four questions that we have to answer so all right well, I will see you guys later hello I am on my lunch break now we got a full hour for lunch and my like, nurses don't get a full hour for lunch we get lunch you make us work in between our patients right I'm just kidding <laughs> I think I'm funny, but I'm really not. Um, so, so far today we did about like an hour and a half, two hours of lecture, just about the skills that we were going to um, go into the lab and do. And then we broke into our cohorts, which are like eight to nine people. Um, and these are the people that we're going to stay with in lab and then we'll have clinicals with. Um, and all of my group is actually from the town that I'm from. Um, so I'm going to be working on like some carpool or like going in together in like a hotel just because it's a long drive <clears throat> and it's a lot of gas that you spend um, driving all the way down here. Especially because part of our highway is under construction so you have to take like back roads. Um, but so far today we have just talked about like transfers and <clears throat> like gate belt safety assistive devices safety like uh, walkers and wheelchairs canes and crutches 
and next um for the rest of the day i'm going to be doing um vital signs and hand washing um because i'm a cna i already know how to do a lot of these things and <clears throat> we have some people that aren't cnas some are like emts and some are ma's and mra's i think that's right i think that's what the one girl said um so like those of us that do this a lot they're kind of like okay you're gonna lead them and tell them what to do and it's like okay i don't even lead at work really but i guess i can do it here um but everyone in my group seems super great um i love my little other seven people in my little group <clears throat> so far they all seem really nice we got one guy he's an emt three other cnas and two one said she's an ma medical assistant and then I think she said MRA. I don't know exactly what that is. Um, but yeah, so um, I'm getting ready. Um, while I was waiting on the class to start, I uh, started on my paper that's due this um, Monday. And I got all of it done. I just need to add in my cit citations and um, do like my work cited page. And then that'll be ready to go. And I'm so happy that I don't have to do it on Monday when I get home from work. Or tonight or tomorrow night when I get home from this. So, I'll talk to you guys whenever I get out of lab today. Alright, bye. Hey guys. I just got done with my lab. Um, the second half of lab, we did vital signs. Um, donning and doffing PPE. And um, hand washing. Um, all of this was stuff that I pretty much knew, except for doing, um, apical pulses. Um, it's just something that I feel like is not a typical, like, CNA skill. Um, however, it was so cool to do, and, um, like, just feeling, like, the intercostal spaces. Like, I had never really understood exactly what people meant. When they said that until like I feel like until you feel it you don't really understand um and then like to hear like really good and clear heart sounds it was just it was really cool and I thoroughly enjoyed it um and everything else is pretty pretty easy pretty standard um tomorrow we are supposed to learn um head to toe assessments which was one of the things that I was most excited for for this weekend um, but you know it was a really good day I had a lot of fun um, I think other than that I am done for the day and headed home all right I'll see you guys tomorrow good morning you guys it is Sunday it is 6 41 um, I'm leaving my house. Um, my goal is to leave by like 6.45 every day and then I should be on time. So this is kind of about the time that I want to leave. Um, I get up at 6 and I get ready. Basic look. Um, but um, because I'm used to getting up at 5 for work, getting up at 6 to me feels like sleeping in. So I get up and I let my dogs out and they get to run around and play for 30 minutes before they go back in their kennels until my wife gets up. Um, but today is my second day of lab. Um, sorry. Um, like I said yesterday, we're going to be doing head to toe assessments. Um, I can't remember what all we're doing. I just remember that being the main part because I was like, oh, yes. And I believe that was the only skill that we're getting, like, checked off on today. So, we have skills that we just have to do and they have to watch us, you know, just make sure we do them correctly. Um, and then we have skills that we have, like, formal checkoffs on where they're, like, step by step. Um, so, yesterday it was the hand washing and vital signs. Um, and my vital signs, you had to be within so many, um, like, heart rates, so many... Like, if I got 60, it had to be either between uh, 56 and 64. <clears throat> um, yeah, I am a little bit more tired today. Um, I 
fell asleep on the couch at like 9 o'clock watching a movie. Um, and then at like 10.30 when it went off, my wife was like, come on, time to go to bed. Um, which is pretty much what always happens whenever we watch a movie. Just because I don't know what it is about sitting on the couch and watching a movie that I'm just like, mm, I'm done. Um, do any of, any of y'all have that problem as well where it's just like, if it's after 8 o'clock and a movie is on, you're going to be asleep. Because <laughs> that is 100% me. Um, so yeah, um, I turned in my paper last night and I was able to finish it with like my work side of page. And turned it in um, two days early. I'm pretty proud of myself considering I thought that I was going to have to work on it um, last night and tonight after lab and I was not looking forward to that at all. Um, so yeah, I think that's all I got for now. Um, I'll check in with you guys either at lunch. I don't know if I'm going to um, come out and eat or if I'm going to just try to do some reading. fundamentals class but we'll see if not I will see you guys uh, after class bye hey guys and I am now done with class um, for the day well lab um, and it's 425 I've actually been driving um, for like 30 40 minutes but I wanted to get onto the stretch where like it wasn't like my GPS wasn't going to be talking trying to talk and then you have to hear her um but anyway so now I'm on the way home we did get out early because we had completed all of our skills and um, which is all that they had planned for us for the day so we learned head to toe assessments this morning um and then we did um bed baths making an occupied bed, range of motion, post-mortem care, head hose, and I think that's on like oral hygiene care. Um, so I do bed baths like pretty much on a daily basis, making an occupied bed like on a daily basis, um, oral hygiene every day. <laughs> Um, I've done post-mortem care where I work now and I've also done it in the emergency room of the hospital um, and the only thing that I haven't I haven't done before that they went over today was um, head to toes um, and I was really excited to learn how to do them because like I feel like whenever you're in nursing school like if you've worked as a CNA like you really you know those skills and you're ready to build upon those and learn new ones um, and like get into nursing not the things that you do now although you know the things that you do now are things that you could possibly do as a nurse um, still because if the aid's not available it's still your patient, still your job. Um, they are still your focus. So for those of you that don't know, um, a head to toe assessment is basically examining your patient from head to toe, just like it says. Um, but you're checking for uh, their baseline vital signs, um, bruises, cuts, discolorations, like surgical sites, piercing sites, surgical, old surgical sites. Um, you kind of like want to make note of their tattoos and like, you don't want to say like the quality of them, but like, do they, are they infected? Um, is there any drainage, anything? like alert oriented um, their pupil reaction um, listening to their heart sounds to their lung sounds bowel sounds 
assessment and for us I feel like the one of the most important things is knowing where their um, if there are any bruises bumps lumps cuts discoloration skin breakdown mostly you know we want to have it documented and we want to care for those regions of the patient with you know good care but also CYA you don't want to get in trouble for a bruise that you didn't cause or that like was already there but you just didn't document it because you didn't do a thorough assessment so you just want to make sure that you know where all of their bruises are and you know where all of their cuts are sorry because you don't want to get in trouble for it later and like you want to you know cover your butt like cause at the end of the day it's going to be your license that's on the table not anybody else's like I said it all it ultimately is you know better care for the patient if I know that you have a bruise right you know right here I'm not going to touch you like right there not that you would touch not that you would like grab a patient roughly, but so that I'm extra sensitive to those areas, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Um, but now that I know this, um, like how to do it, what I'm listening for, because I feel like a lot of like hearing different heart sounds, um, especially like apical pulses and hearing that, you know, I can start to learn like what these sounds are because like right now I don't know what a typical heart sounds like I don't know how lungs are supposed to sound or whenever I hear something different what it could be same thing with bowel sounds because um, my teacher did place a lot of emphasis on this because of how um, dangerous a bowel obstruction can be you know in the hospital setting you're hooked up to monitors that are monitoring your vital signs they're checking your oxygen that's checking your pulse your blood pressure but there's nothing there's not a vital sense for your bowels other than like you know making sure that you've had a bowel movement within so many hours days whatever the case may be per patient so if there's an obstruction and you can hear it like you could stop or you know stop sepsis because you don't want someone to die from a blocked bowel. Um, all overall, I've had a really good weekend. Um, I feel, I definitely feel like I've learned a lot. Um, I'm glad to be off of school tomorrow, even though I have to go work a 12 hour shift. Um, but my brain is just like ready to shut down. I'm gonna need to read um, because if you're in nursing school, I've watched nursing school videos. The reading doesn't stop. I'm just like, please stop. <laughs> but with me wanting to get my master's degree, I might as well just throw that idea out the out the window of not having to read for many, many years. Like five. Um, you know, I was still. I really like the cohort group that I'm in. Um, I like my teachers. Um, so I have two te or three teachers for like my lecture class, and then um, a few teachers from our traditional program help us with clinicals too and labs because there can only be so many students to an RN. the whole problem with the nursing shortage anyways is when you're a teacher you make way less money but they have to have the teachers to have more nurses and it's like nursing programs in schools could be larger if there were more teachers I say this as I don't want to be a teacher I want to be a floor nurse um maybe teach whenever I'm older and you know 
want to be able to have a little bit more of a light or you know I don't want to be on the floor for 12 hours a day maybe later just not right now like right now I'm like I'm young I'm excited I want to go out there and I want to do things I want to change lives not that again not that you don't change lives when you're teaching because really you're ultimately changing a lot of lives because you're you're changing your students lives who will go on to then change all of their patients lives hopefully for the better <laughs> I have a terribly dark sense of humor I'm sorry if you don't like dark humor then you probably shouldn't watch my videos to begin with and I'm really just rambling on at this point um but yeah like I really I feel like this is where I was meant to be um even if it means driving a long distance four days a week some weeks um but yeah you know I really I feel like I'm in a good place down 15 more to go in the first semester all right so I'm gonna jump off of here and um, let me know what else you guys want to see um, I know I said I was gonna do a planning video but Thursday and Friday for, for me this week were just super busy and I did not have any free time um, so this Thursday or Friday, I don't have like any doctor's appointments, any therapy, or anything going on. So I'm gonna try to do my plan with me video and just do like a month worth of planning. I'll probably do like October just because I need to do September now for me personally to not have an anxiety attack about it. Um, I do better just whenever I know what my week looks like. So. Um, and I'm gonna keep on doing kind of like these vlogs where I just tell you guys what's happening in my class for each week. Um, if you guys want to know more about like what I do as a CNA, I can do like a day in the life of a CNA. Um, I don't do too much outside of school right now. Um, but yeah, just let me know what you guys want to see. Um, I'm open to any comments. Any DMs, my Instagram is down below. Follow me on Instagram. Um, I do post on there regularly as well, and I would love to get to know you guys as well. Um, every single person that has subscribed, um, I have noticed every single little little person, and um, every comment I have tried to reply to. And I just love any support that you guys give just by, you know, clicking on this video and watching. Um, it doesn't go unnoticed. I definitely, you know, don't, um, I'm not creating this for, like, fame or fortune or any of that. Um, but I really want to help other people through their nursing school journey. Um, just by giving, you know, one more input into how it is. Um, and, you know, juggling work and school because a lot of people that I've watched didn't work and go to school or they only worked you know once um one shift a month and you know I'm working full time technically so you know that's kind of where I'm at and why you know I ultimately started this channel um just to give another perspective and um to hopefully help somebody else that's out there that is worried about how it's going to go you know they have a family to support and they can't stop working um, I can't tell you how it is with kids because I don't have any I've got three dogs um, but you know I do have you know a wife and people at, um, at home that rely on me to come home and I can't I can't spend six hours at the library it's just not feasible for me um but um I think later on I'll probably do like a study with me video or like show how I study depending on how well I do on tests if I don't do great the first couple of times that I'm still like learning how to do it I won't do one until like I feel like I'm doing well enough to give someone else advice on how to do it um but yeah I think that's all I have for today I think I've said that like probably like three or four times um but yeah, 
Uh, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.